Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to a nice, I'd say sunny, rainy, cloudy, overcast day here in SoCal. We're still under quarantine. Trusty free labor assistant here. Are on our way to SoCal Motorsports. We are going to go ahead and install some parts to the good old Type R. Y'all remember, for all you guys that have been here for a minute, you guys know about the brake lines, you guys know about the clutch slave line, you guys also know about the thermostat, and for all of you that have just hopped on, you guys know about the bump steer kit we picked up all from Spoon. It's time. It's been a while since we've had a chance to install this, but now our buddy Andy is gonna go ahead and plug us up, get everything installed in the car. Unfortunately, we will not be there for the install. As you remember, the spring install, his insurance doesn't let us wander around his shop while he's working. And not to mention with all this quarantine stuff, we have to drop off the car and pick it up maybe tomorrow. Today is Wednesday, we probably have to pick it up Thursday, if not Friday morning. I told Andy don't sweat how long it takes. We ain't got nowhere to be anyways. So. All right, y'all, we just dropped off the car over here at Andy's. They're gonna go ahead and handle all the installs as you see the r in the background right there they're gonna go ahead and take care of everything he told me a few days we're gonna give him as much time as he needs just make sure that everything's done properly so yeah boys i'll give you the full lowdown once we're all done installed and ready to go day two what's up everyone welcome back to the second part of the video it's been two days since we dropped off the car here at socal motor works Got the call, came to pick up the car. Unfortunately, it has been raining out here in SoCal. Damn, my glasses are foggy with this mask. Uh, as most of you know with the quarantine, I live here in California and we have to now wear a mask. So your boy here is wearing a mask to make sure we're all safe and sound. Came here to pick up the car from Andy. Got us all plugged up with what we needed. I wish I could have shown you guys the install, but his insurance does not let me get past this yellow rope. Now, I would have wished I could have taken the time to do it myself, but I don't have tools. I don't have the wherewithal. And again, like I said to most of you, if you don't know what you're doing, don't get into it because you may make it a bigger and worse problem. Andy did have a couple situations going on. If you do decide to do the bump steer kit, uh, bear in mind the tool that's needed is not readily available. Most Honda dealerships don't even have it because there's no need to change out the ball joints in the new Type Rs, but this guy had to do it. Andy put in the spoon ones. When we get home, I'll try and show you guys exactly what he's done. We're about to head home. It's about a 30 minute drive back home. One hour later. All right, y'all, we had to make a little pit stop on the way home. The car needed an alignment and there was no way that I was gonna go ahead and just keep driving it like that. So we stopped by here at our local Honda dealership. Damn, these, these things really didn't show how fat I am. Uh, we stopped by at the Honda dealership, got the car aligned. Uh, I am gonna try and go to a different location next time. Uh, more of a race oriented shop, but I just wanted to get the car aligned, make sure it wasn't zigzagging all over the road. But we're all good to go. Uh, I'll give you some reviews, I guess, on the way home on how the car's been steering, stopping, and shifting gears. All right, folks, hang in there. We're almost there. Buddy, we're back from the dealership. Now this is part three of this video. It feels epically long. Again, I wanna thank everybody who stuck around and listen to me rant about installing these parts for months now and i want to appreciate everybody that's hit me up who sent comments who's been following this build from day one y'all i appreciate you very much now we got it all done alignment's done bump steer kits in thermostats in brake lines are in and you know what that means we're super, super close to getting this bad boy back out 
on a track day. I think the next event is going to be in May at the Auto Club Speedway right here in Fontana. I'm going to try to take this sucker out then. It's the same day that the S2K challenge is going on. Now again, with all this COVID-19 quarantine stuff, we don't know if it'll be out. We don't know if we'll be able to attend it. But we are going to put that on the calendar and circle that date because that's when I want to take this guy out. If any of you guys are local to SoCal and want to come out, hit me up or just come out. I mean, I am going to be a noob. This will be the first time this bad boy gets up on the track. Um, I am trying to see if maybe we can do something about these rims before we get out there. We'll figure it out as the time comes. Our thermostat, the only thing I notice is that the, uh, I guess temp gauge sits a little bit lower than at half now, when before it sat a little bit closer to half. I, again, to be honest with you, um, we're probably talking about little bits of differences. We're not really pushing the car. All I know is the spoon one will start opening up sooner. As you can tell, today's the first day we get sunlight, which I'm super stoked. We haven't had sunlight in three days, y'all. It's been raining. It was actually raining this morning, and we we're actually getting some sunlight, so I'm pretty stoked. Maybe tomorrow we'll go out for a cruise and see how the car feels. But just to recap, thermostats in. Second thing he went and put in is the clutch slave hose again by our boys over at spoon and now this one again didn't look like anything major just looked like a regular hose um, now the spoon one does sit underneath the vehicle so I will give you guys a look at it in a moment or two and last but not least brake lines are in so now this completes just about all the spoon parts that I bought for this car. Oh yeah, yeah. And we even installed the bump steer kit. I didn't want to jack up the car because uh, it doesn't show you how the ball joint works while the car is under load. As you can tell, now the lower control arm is way straighter. Um, yes, the tire is turned all the way and it's just so I could give you a look But what you're looking at is the ball joint Which is pretty much the spoon sport bump steer kit from what my mechanic said It's that it's a pain in the ass to install because you have to pretty much remove a lot of all this hardware to be able to get it to get the proper clearance so he had to remove this bolt as much as as long as a few other ones that are behind it um, just to get the clearance to be able to pop out this area and get it out like you put the spoon one in no problem with it looks good uh, I'm gonna try and go on the other side and show you the spoon sport steel braided lines look like I do want to let you know that it does lower your car about an inch if you can see my car was on spoon sport springs before and after the car came back from the mechanic it was a little lower in the front this fixed the geometry of the car but you also uh, get a lot lower suspension in the front now because of it now let me see if I can get in here and show you oh yeah there they are so those are the spoon sport steel braided lines Trying to see if I can get you guys some good lighting, excuse me. There we go. So those are the Spoon Sport brake lines. Once installed. Again, I had no hand in installing everything, so I can't really give you too much of an in-depth installation. All I know is that uh, Andy told me that once he bled everything, the rear calipers in the back uh, do require them to be super tightened in the back when you're bleeding them because you kept getting uh, a loss of pedal pressure so I'm not sure if it's something that he endured or it's something that you endure all the time but just giving you the heads up if you're doing it yourself you also need to know what's up with the Civic Type R's service mode 
so you could put the car in service mode when you are doing the rear brakes. Let me run over here, excuse me, Pablo. This guy follows me everywhere I go. So you can see them back there. Again, Spoon Sports did an amazing job at these. They are uh, wrapped in a Teflon type of um, covering with the steel braided line inside. Now, if you really want something that's gonna stand out, these aren't really gonna be it. They look gray once installed. I'm trying to get you guys a good look in here. They look gray when they're installed, to be honest with you. Only thing giving them up is the blue housing little sticker thingy that's at the end. And right here, as you see in that area, you see a little bit of blue sticking out as you saw in the front. Otherwise, you're not gonna get too much look, except again, you get way more pedal response. Same thing with the clutch line, way more pedal response. Thermostat, again, I, the only thing I noticed, the car stays a little cooler as far as it doesn't rise up to the middle of temp again. It, it kind of hangs out a little bit below middle. And bump steer kit, what I can say is if you have the loot, you're trying to improve on your, you know, left to right, stopping and all that deal, I'd say it's a go. Otherwise, the stock components that come with this Type R are well enough for anybody it's probably well enough for me but i'm nuts and i want to go ahead and make this a spoon build like i told you so we are going with a lot of spoon suspension parts pretty much everything is spoon suspension on this car so far and they are r and ding some things we'll see what's up i'm impatient so i can't wait for most of these things but again i just wanted to give you guys a quick look of how it looks uh, when the car is fully under load so that way you can see what the uh, ball joints look like and the brake lines. But enough preaching. Hopefully we get to see you guys out on the track soon. Thanks again for watching everybody. Thanks again for spending some of your day here with me. Uh, thanks again for watching me tinker here with the car. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so whenever we do put up videos, you guys are the first ones to see. So again, folks, from the R, from me. Thanks again. We'll see you guys again real soon.